true hippie. Boom! Welcome to another episode of Staff and Cracks Sessions. This is Staff, you all know who Staff is, get me play go. Look out for that one. Yeah, but yeah, but welcome to our episode and we got a special guest today from the United States of America. This is our first American interview. I've yes. never ever interviewed an American artist, but this is our first and he goes by the name of Mate. In a nice spice, for that Caucasian up a nose, cause she like lying. I think I might wife, what's it down night, nice saw my ex, what's the one? Then my life was like psych. There was so I'm a off white bitch. Smoking them cigs, get you one mint. I put my kids on her lip, she talk with her lips, you're like this. Don't get that shit on my fear that you got a dip, call her a lift. Uh, I'm a fucking off white pimp in the cut. Gotta hate my life, it sucks. I got bitches, I got plugs. I'm like, damn, this shit is rough. Wanna fuck me all shocks. Say your boyfriend is a cock. You offended by that too much, not enough. Pussy, I don't really get no fuck. Too much, mate. Too much, mate. I'm good, I'm good. That's my people here. Yeah. Come out, yeah. So I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, this year we've got a drink one this one. Oh, yeah. oh that's it. How has your experience been in the UK? It's just been good. Um honestly like it's it's not as much of a culture shock as like what people think it would be. Yeah. Um I mean shit, you guys fucking you guys drive on the other side of the road. <laughs> you guys uh, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's like minor yeah. things, but people forget that like you guys Obviously, it's England, you guys speak English, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. like, I don't know. Um, it's cool, though. Like, I really like it, to be honest. Like, yeah. I kind of, like, I'm too comfortable here. I kind of want to stay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm What parts of the UK have you been to? What areas? Honestly, I, I have literally stayed in the city of London. Right. Like, so, yeah. is there any, like, differences that you would say within music? with America compared to the mm. UK? I would say the biggest thing is like you guys use Logic and we use Pro Tools. <laughs> 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 that's crazy, that's, that's, that's got Pro Tools on Oh, it. okay, see, I came to the I right place then. I came to the right place. So. so what do you what do you think of the UK music? What do you think um, of the UK music? What do you think of? I what likes have you listened to so far? Shit, so... I've, I've been listening to a little bit of ABZ, no problem. Yeah. So Africa Dabra. Yes. Um, you got double L's, band okay, yeah. was bumping. I know, like, I dabbled in a little bit with Heady One. Yeah. Um, really, so I know that's like a little bit of like mainstream yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. But then, like, I listen to a few collabs too with like um, people like Desi. Yeah. Um, I'm losing like track of names right yeah, now. But yeah. Who else is cool? Dave's cool too. Dave's cool, I heard, yeah, I heard yeah, Dave. Yeah. Like, I need my people like you to tell me, like, yeah. hey, this is what you need to listen to. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know you mean. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah we'll you put you on to a few tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shout, out, cool. shout out to my girl right here, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Go check it out. It's on the channel, yeah. guys. Yeah. What do you feel find the most challenging thing in the UK? Like, since you've been there, what's the most challenging thing? In music as well. Um. So, as I was telling you earlier, yeah. like, I just, I had a, well, I guess I'll keep it UK. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, to be honest, like, I can't really think, like, of okay. shit, like, like, it's been cool, like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't yeah. say, like, things have been, like, super challenging. Yeah. I would say, like, you know, maybe, like, not, not this, okay, when I first got here, yeah. I didn't know, like, where to record. I didn't know anybody here. Yeah. I didn't know who's the good engineers, who's... Who knows who and like I'm still like really learning, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like for example Eli, like yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which Eli yeah. shout out Eli, he yeah. just shot a video. Yeah. He just shot her video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um Yeah, like you know, I didn't I just found him on Instagram. Right. So, um tell me more about your music and what you do, what your style is. Yeah, so um, again, I'm mates, like M A T E S. People are like, oh, mates? Mates? Mate. <laughs> mate. Yeah, mate. yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm a rapper by mm -hmm. trade. You know, that's my foundation. Yeah. But, um, really, like, over the past few years, I've just, like, dabbled more with, like, alternative hip hop, yeah. I would say, you know, like, um, anything from, like, 
hardcore like screamo yeah. rap all the way to like melodic rap yeah, yeah, all the way yeah, to you yeah. know emo to trap like yeah. so um i'd say like i got a little bit of like a south florida sound yeah. mixed because i lived in south florida for two years yeah. but mixed with like midwest like detroit like where oh, i'm from doing like the uk drill yeah. ting yeah that's <laughs> it ting uh, that is a lingo <laughs> yeah now listen to some of your music it reminds me a bit like trippy red you know yeah, like yeah, x yeah. and things like that yeah, and yeah. you know so with that style i think that you're really you're really good at that and like yeah. what you do and stuff like i was like yeah this is you know mm. no, i appreciate so, that yeah, yeah. No, I, so, I enjoyed it. so the cultures what's the difference between the u.s music culture and the uk music culture because there's a lot of difference mm -hmm. i believe there's a lot of difference between the um, culture u.s and uk i would say like from from what I gather right now, yeah. um, and I know it's like a smaller country, obviously, yeah, but I mean, yeah. it seems like your guys like hip hop community is more like community. Yeah. Like I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Like yeah. or like or like more people know each other and more people like fuck with each yeah. other. Um, I mean, I, I wanted to. Uh, I'm actually curious. What's it like in Detroit? Because you you know you're mm. from there. What what's it like there? Yeah. Shit. It gets cold in the D. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, so, yeah. like um, Detroit's great. Um, it's cool, but I would say like like compare it to like London, you know, yeah. like it's I'd say it's a lot. And you know, I haven't seen all the rough areas of London, yeah. you know, but yeah. I'd say it's like a lot a lot rougher. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but I think in the music aspect, like Detroit's like you know known for putting out like you know the Jackson 5 you know recorded yeah, 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 yeah. in Detroit you know you got everybody from Eminem to Big Sean yeah, yeah, yeah. right now we got Dej Loaf, Sada yeah, Baby yeah, yeah. you know uh, Rio the Young OG he's Flint yeah. um shout out all them I, I saw your too. new um front cover I think is it for your EP on your As an album. Instagram for your album yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a really interesting cover so what, oh, yeah. what was like the first <laughs> person to find that yeah yeah, yeah. no it was interesting mm -hmm. um so the album's called Too Much Not Enough Volume One. Yeah. Um, and basically the album, like a metaphor for it is love's a drug. You know, yeah, like yeah, I went yeah. I went through like a real, like rough like breakup mm -hmm. and um really like it was supposed to sum up like the high of the party and then yeah. now I'm coming down. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So who was your inspirations growing up? Who's your Artists that you, when you, you, what got you into music? What made you want to do music? Like? So yeah, what what made me want to do music yeah. is um, straight up like I would hear the radio every day yeah. when like my mom would like drive me into Detroit to stay at my grandma's house yeah. and vice vice versa with my parents. Like yeah. my my parents would drive me around and they would have you know. 97.9 WJLB, channel 955, you know, the, the Detroit, yeah, 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 <laughs> the Detroit radio stations, though, and, like, literally, though, like, I, like, heard it, it rubbed off on me, and, like, I started rapping, like, as a little kid with my friends, but, like, I didn't have any, like, traditional music upbringing, you know what I mean, like, and I still don't. How was that when you decided to take it serious? How many years have you been So, it was about five years, so I've been doing it serious, but, um, basically, like, it was in the middle of like my freshman year of college mm -hmm. and I was actually playing college baseball for a year and um, I just started to work on my first mm -hmm. album and uh, then I like said like because I was there for a scholarship mm -hmm. for baseball but like after like that summer when I dropped that album I was mm -hmm. like hey like the sports thing I'm gonna drop and just do music. So where, where do you see yourself being in say like another five years yeah. time? What would you like um, to get out yeah. of it? In another five years I plan on being you know like have made it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. straight up. Straight yeah. up so um, for the for the people coming up in the game what would you what advice would you give them because you know there's a lot of people that make music and a lot of people mm -hmm. have big dreams to you know live yeah. the lavish. Well what would you say to those people that like, what would you say? How would they get themselves out of there as a, like a young, upcoming, starting artist? Like, Honestly, you like, like my best advice to anybody would just be, don't stop. I've definitely had moments where, like, I've been like, you know, fucked up for like whatever reason, you know. Yeah. But like, now I would just say, like, don't stop and like be consistent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, know yourself as an artist, but like. I'd say for most of us, like, there's no reason why we can't be dropping, like, one project a year minimum with mm -hmm. other, like, singles or yeah, videos, yeah, yeah. like, you know what I mean? So in the US, is it true that um, the drug culture is strong down there? Oh, yeah. fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the league. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, it's, it's funny. I actually had this talk with my girlfriend earlier. Yeah. Like, really, like, it went from rap. Well, you know, a lot of rap was like drug dealer music. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. We're like, hey, like, you know, I'm selling this Sitting to, like, you know, survive. <laughs> yeah. and now it's turned into, like, hey, I'm popping this to, like, <laughs> survive my feelings. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. so when you talk about the music industry, I always ask people this question. Fuck the industry. Yeah, fuck the industry, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I'm straight up, like, so, but, but, you know, I know what it is, like, it's yeah. like, it's like, okay, well, fuck the industry, what's then, then why you wouldn't, you know what I mean? What's your experience being in the music industry for you to have that? So, my experience, like, yeah. so obviously I've been doing music for, like, five years, yeah. but, like, my experience in the industry, mm -hmm really started a year and a half ago okay. you know what i mean like yeah. in the actual industry shit and the reason i say that is because um i just i experienced a situation where i had somebody who had become basically like a mentor to me mm -hmm. um end up like offering me a fucking horrible deal but it wasn't like mm -hmm. it wasn't just like that you know like the way that it like played out, like I was basically like pushed into a corner mm -hmm. where it was like, A, like, you know, it felt like, hey, like I've already done A, B, and C for yeah, you, yeah, so yeah, you yeah. should sign this. Like yeah. they didn't even want me to get like somebody to look the contract over. Yeah, Bro, I, I had homie look the contract over, um, my guy Brett from the UK, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, a dude who he, first thing he said to me was he's like, yo, like mm -hmm. I'm here to make deals. He's like, this is why you came to me and not like a regular lawyer. Cause he was a manager. He cut yeah. deals with Warner, Sony, everybody before. Okay. He's like, hey, yeah. I'm here to make the deal, not break the deal. Bro, homie read the contract. Mm -hmm. and he called me and he's like, dude, this isn't fixable. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, yeah. like this yeah. is so yeah. bad. Yeah. You like, you have to go and say, yo, I'm sorry, but like, yeah. fuck off. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? So do you have any? Like last words for people yeah. out there. Any new music dropping? Anything that you'd like to? Yeah, yeah. So I'm doing, like I said, the UK drill thing. So yeah. um, I got like anywhere from four to six songs coming out. Um, it's gonna be called From the D to London. Yeah. Um, that's like my main main thing, main goal yeah. while I'm out here. Um, as you know, too much not enough. Volume one just dropped. That's yeah, my yeah. new album. Um, so if you're watching this, you haven't heard it yet, or if you're new to me. Go check me out at Too Much Mates on Instagram. Um, Mates on Apple Music, Spotify, yeah. all that stuff. Check out the new album. Be on the lookout for From the View to London. Um, whole new vibes, whole new. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. put all your socials down below. Mm -hmm. And the fans. In, in the box. Tell your fans one thing. What's the one thing? What's your biggest fear in music before we go? I always ask people. Biggest fear? What do you fear the most? Uh, thing that I fear the most mm -hmm. is at this point, like letting another year go by where like i didn't put out mm. something that i would have like, yeah. like and what i mean by that is this like every day that you wake up you're gonna make something different like like what i would have made yesterday i wouldn't have yeah, made yeah, today yeah, yeah. you know what i mean for better or worse yeah. but like my biggest fear is like you know, sitting on my ass or like getting yeah, too comfortable, yeah. you know what I mean? US to Britain, yeah, get me. American yeah. artist yeah. told you stash and cracks over here. Live now, you know, we're not joking. <laughs> right, yeah, get me. That's another stash and crack session. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Go on. Bye, Go. guys. <laughs>